This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. We've all had ideas that we think can make us millionaires. Those light bulb moments when you dream up an invention that no one else has yet imagined. In truth, very few ideas prove to be successful, and for every new creation that turns out to be a big hit, there are countless others that fail spectacularly. But amongst the failures are some incredibly simple and often unconventional ideas that have made their developers hugely wealthy, and sometimes for very little effort. Which are the best of the best? That's what we'll be looking at today. In this episode of The Infographic Show, Unlikely Inventions That Made Millions. We've researched some of the craziest ideas that made people richer than they could have imagined. Some of these inventions are weird, wacky, or simply did well because of the fun factor, and others turned out to address a real need. But what they all have in common is they hit the top of the sales list, as customers couldn't get enough of them. We filtered what we think are the most interesting ones worth talking about to bring you our top 10 list. Let's jump straight in and take a look. Number 10, Roni and Ken D. Lulo knew something wasn't right when their dog Midnight kept missing the frisbee during a game of fetch. In 1997, during a visit to their local dog park in San Jose, California, the couple noticed that their pooch was squinting. He seemed to be sensitive to sunlight, Roni recalls, and so was born an idea for doggy shades, goggle-style sunglasses that they named Doggles. Initially, Roni used a pair of sports goggles and altered them to fit the Border Collie. Midnight's frisbee performance improved and he became the talk of the dog park. Roni created a website to showcase photos of the pooch modeling his eyewear. People love to see a dog wearing glasses, she says. To her surprise, people started contacting Roni asking if they could purchase a pair of these cool doggy shades, which led her and her husband to explore manufacturing. And doggles do more than protect your pet from the sun's glare, they also keep out dust, debris, and wind, and block UV rays that can lead to medical conditions in the dog's eyes. By 2012, doggles reached revenue of $3 million in a single year. Not bad for a pair of shady Rover Ray-Bans. Number 9, The Pet Rock Pet Rock is a collectible that was dreamt up in 1975 by advertising executive Gary Dahl. Pet Rocks are smooth stones from Mexico's Rosarito Beach. Yes, a big pebble sold like a real living pet. Each Pet Rock came in its own custom cardboard box with a straw and breathing holes. It was a short-lived fad that lasted about six months, and Dahl's Crazy Rocks were sold for $3.95, profiting him $3 per sale. It's estimated that he sold more than 1.5 million of them, making him a millionaire in a very short period of time. Dahl passed away in March 2015 at age 78. Speaking to the Washington Post, his wife said the pet rock craze was great fun when it happened. In the telephone interview, she also explained that people would come to her husband with weird ideas, expecting him to do for them what he had done for himself. And a lot of times, they were really, really stupid ideas. Number 8. The Million Dollar Homepage Alex Chu was able to earn almost exactly $1 million through a truly unique idea he had. Late one night in August 2005, he lay down in bed with a pen and paper and brainstormed cheap ideas that he could sell a million of. Chu came up with pages full of potential creations, including a terrible product he called the Gum Slinger, which was a small pouch for used chewing gum. But this entrepreneurial genius knew he would get there eventually and came up with the idea of selling space on his website as advertisements. Each pixel on the page would sell at $1, and so a page with 1 million pixels would make him a millionaire. When the site went viral, companies, businesses, and organizations all around the world jumped at the chance to have their name plastered on the site. Tu made his money in just one year, and more than enough to fund the 21-year-old student's university fees. So what happened to Tu? He actually dropped out of university and went on to launch a number of other tech ideas, eventually hitting the jackpot with the Calm app. Today, Calm has 600,000 paying subscribers, and according to online media site The Hustle, the company is raising a $25 million round led by Insight Ventures, which will value them at $250 million. Number 7. The iFart app. Yep, it's true. An app that acted as a virtual whoopee cushion with a variety of fart noises to select, the iFart app became immensely popular and despite its low price of 99 cents, went on to make more than $1 million. Back in 2008, Wired Magazine reported that the app was making nearly $10,000 in a single day. Joel Com, developer of iFart Mobile, published download statistics of his app at the time and it stood at number one overall with over 13,000 downloads. 
Com made a fortune and even appealed to the stars. In 2015, he publicly reached out to George Clooney after the world-famous actor had revealed in a 2011 interview with Rolling Stone magazine that he loved fart jokes and even kept the iFart app on his phone. Com offered to feature one of Clooney's farts as a special in-app purchase. Number 6. The Mood Ring in 1975, the Mood Ring hit stores. It was invented by Joshua Reynolds, who marketed them as portable biofeedback aids. These funky finger rings were a piece of jewelry that purportedly changed color to reflect your mood at any given time. Reynolds was able to get the department store Bonwit Teller to stock the product as part of their accessories line. Some rings sold for as much as $250, which in the 1970s was a hefty price tag. But the 70s was also the era of lava lamps, flare jeans, and extravagant rock bands like Led Zeppelin, and within months, Reynolds made his first million and turned them into a trendy fashion item among celebrities such as Barbra Streisand and Muhammad Ali. Of course, the mood ring was a gimmick, and though the thermotropic liquid crystals used used in the rings changed color, it was in response to changes in body temperature, but Reynolds still picked a winner and made his millions. Number 5. The Magic 8-Ball If you were to grab the Magic 8-Ball off your desk and ask it, will the Infographic Show channel answer all the questions I have and more, the words, without a doubt, would hopefully emerge through the murky blue liquid. While Magic 8-Ball did not exist in its current form until 1950, the original idea, the Psycho Seer, was invented by Albert C. Carter and inspired by a spirit writing device used by his mother Mary, a Cincinnati clairvoyant. Unfortunately, Carter died before his clever creation found success. But in 1950, his brother-in-law Abe Bookman was commissioned to turn the Psycho Seer into a black and white 8-Ball with a floating 20-sided die. When the ball is shaken, the die floats to the surface, revealing its answer to your question about the future. In 2011, Time Magazine listed it at number 18 of all time 100 greatest toys, and you can still buy the Magic 8 Ball today. Number 4. Big Mouth Billy Bass At some point, just about everyone will have seen a talking, singing fish like Boogie Bass or Rocky Rainbow Trout hanging on the wall of a grocery store, the local bar, or in someone's home. None were bigger than Big Mouth Billy Bass. It all started out with Joe Pelletieri, who began his career as a self-professed numbers guy, but after nearly 10 years of working in retail, he felt it was time to move on to the next big thing. One day, Pelletieri's wife turned to him with an unusual proposal, saying, how about a singing fish on a plaque? And though it may have sounded crazy to most, Pelletieri thought the idea of a fish on a plaque singing Al Green was hilarious. A Texas novelty toy company originally created the device in the late 1990s, and for many years it was an uphill battle until Jemmy Industries took the toy on. The summer of 2000 was the toy's heyday. Though Pelletieri and Jemmy are highly secretive when it comes to divulging the financial success of Billy. But it has been rumored that the toy made the company over $100 million in revenue during its 9-month success high. A fishy story or the real sales numbers? We may never know. Number 3. The Hula Hoop The Hula Hoop has been around for millennia, and Native Americans used a hoop dance as a form of storytelling with anywhere from 1 to 30 hoops as props. But the modern Hula Hoop was patented by Richard Nur and Arthur Spud Mellon of the Whammo Company, who hold the trademark on the name Hula Hoop. In 1958, Whammo began manufacturing the toy out of plastic tubing, and they sold a whopping 25 million hula hoops in the first four months at a price of $1.98 each. By the end of their second year, they had reached 100 million sold, and they continued to be one of the most successful manufacturers of modern hula hoops. The hula hoop was at its peak back in the 1950s, with more than 50,000 hoops being manufactured every day. Without a doubt, one of the most simple inventions and successful money spinners ever. Number 2. Fidget spinners. Now to something a little more recent, but still a spinner and the must-have toy of 2017, the fidget spinner. These little spinning toys started flying off the shelves in April of 2017, and several schools have even had to ban them due to them being overly distracting to students. According to a survey of the 200 largest American high schools, nearly a third have banned fidget spinners. The simple design consists of a ball-bearing center with flat spindly lobes attached like a little propeller. All it takes is a flick, for the stress-relieving toy to work its magic. The only catch in this success story is that Katherine Hedinger, who invented the anxiety-reducing device more than two decades ago, stopped manufacturing them a long time ago, and since her patent expired last year, she's had to watch one large company after another produce and sell different versions of the toy without needing to pay her anything. And finally, number one, the Slinky. 
This is arguably one of the most famous toys in the world. For those living in the Western world, it is virtually impossible to have not come across this spring-like toy at some point in your life. It's a success story that started many years ago. The inventor was a man called Richard James, and he stumbled across the idea by accident when a spring fell and wobbled its way along the floor. James and his wife Betty developed a plan to turn his invention into the next big novelty toy. Betty came up with the name Slinky while James got to work on designing a machine to coil an 80-foot long piece of wire into a 2-inch spiral spring. The couple borrowed $500 to manufacture the first Slinkies. Gimbel's department store in Philadelphia allowed demonstrations for Christmas 1945 and the first 400 Slinkies sold within minutes. They even had a TV jingle done with the words, what walks downstairs, alone or in pairs, and makes a Slinky sound, it's a Slinky. By the time Slinky turned 10 years old, more than 100 million had been sold, and according to Adweek, as of 2015, 350 million were in the hands of customers. It goes down as one of the most popular toys ever, making a family very wealthy indeed. Have your own crazy idea to make you millions? Well, every good idea needs a great website, and Wix is here to help. With a fully customizable layout that's simple to use, yet powerful enough to get you exactly what you want, Wix offers you all the creative solutions you need to make an eye-popping and unique site that'll help you get the attention you need for your own crazy million dollar idea. Go to wix.com slash go slash infographics or just click the link in the description below and get started today. So that's our top 10 list, though of course there are many more. Know any other unlikely inventions that were huge successes? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Could You Pass the Google Interview? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.